As we reported earlier in the broadcast, a fire in New Albany early this morning injured six people, killed one elderly woman. Now let's go back to John McGrath now for a live update from New Albany. John? Mark, Gene, uh, the arson investigators continue to go through the apartment behind me. That is the apartment where the fire started. Uh, when firefighters arrived, uh, they found flames shooting through the roof of this building. This was the scene as an heroic es uh, rescue effort was underway. Firefighters broke into this uh, apartment, rescuing two of the adults before the firefighters could even put on their gear. Then they put their gear on, went back into the apartment, found two more adults and two children. One of the infants was found in the hallway. The infant was conscious but was in respiratory arrest. Another young child, believed to be about five years old, was found in a bedroom. Uh, he, too, was in very serious condition. Uh, eight ambulances, at least, were called here to the scene to take care of these victims, and one of the ambulance attendants apparently broke his arm in the rescue effort. Uh, right now, investigators still do not know what caused this fire. That investigation is still underway. Live in New Albany, I'm John McGrath. All right, John, thank you. A little bit more information now about the injured. Two children and one teenager were injured in that fire. They were taken to Cosair Children's Hospital. All three are listed in critical condition. They were brought in by ambulance and by helicopter. Cosair says a three-month-old girl has been admitted, as well as a five-year-old boy suffering second and third-degree burns on his neck and legs. The third victim is a 17-year-old girl, also in critical condition. We had initially called a disaster drill because we were expecting more patients than we wound up getting, but we also have what we call a trauma stat, which is a, uh, a system that we have set up to bring all of our specialists uh, to availability for emergency patients in this type of situation. And we'll update the conditions of the injured for you tonight at 5.30 and 6.00.